This lesson is called Masking with Pan Crop. Remember I told you that using only the pan crop tool, we could make a mask, a Bezier curve mask. Let's do it. Right now I have two tracks. I have this car video and I have this textured background. Let's make a mask so that only the car and the sign from this picture show and we'll make it look like it's floating on a cloud. Let's go. Right click on the clip and hit the R key on your computer keyboard. Brings up event pan crop. This is where we were working before in the position row. Now we're going to be working in the mask row. Remember that this is key frameable. Here's the position tools. Note that when we hit the mask row, we have a couple of extra tools here. This is the anchor creation tool, and this is the anchor deletion tool. Let's click on this. When we get over here, we can create a series of points. I'm going to start out here just with the sign. If I put points together, and then connect them all up like this, look what happens. If we click on a point, we can move it around a little bit. Let's add a keyframe over here. And this keyframe, we're going to add the signpost. At this point, I also want the car. Somehow these got moved, so what I need to do is reestablish these at the correct position. Okay, now we have a couple of options here. We can make the mode positive or negative. You'll see either only what you've selected or everything but what you've selected. We can anti-alias it. We can adjust the opacity. We're working on the pole right now. We can feather it in or out or both. And determine the percentage of feathering. See how it changes? That's feathered both. Let's try just out, we can see or just in, doesn't do much. You'll note there are other points along the line here. These are called tangent points, and we can use these creatively in a number of ways. Gives us an additional degree of control. Over very detailed areas. 
creating a mask with the pan crop tool. So we really have an enormous amount of control over how this displays. Let's get rid of this for now. And there we have a quick and dirty floating car on a background using masks from the pan crop dialog. Pretty heavy stuff.